Hey everyone! So this is going to be a short one because I have <laughs> things to do and I really, really, really wanted to give you this story. So it's the, about the very first sales point or actually it's the second sales point but it's like the first sales point of meaning to me. I had recently returned from Australia and I told you in the previous uh, videos how I started Fralipo Lippi and how my uh, very first sales point came to me, um, Bon Bon Boutique. And while that was super important and, and fun and important in the sense of, oh, someone wants to sell my stuff, um, this this story that I'm about to tell you was, um, to me, it's very inspiring because this is what happened. So I came back to Amsterdam after about a year and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go into the city of Amsterdam and just have a feel through of if there's anywhere that I would like to sell my lip balms. And I have a history in sales and I was never really good at it in the sense of like I was super good at customer service, but the sales never felt good to me because I didn't really uh, stand behind what I was selling. It always felt fake to me. And now with my own product, I had a mission. I was on a mission to change um the ideas about makeup and I was on a mission to have vegan makeup be the norm. So I haven't told you guys that before, but that was something that was strong to me. Like do whatever you want, but makeup, you know, why, why should there be animal producing makeup? If you want to eat it, fine. But yeah, so that was the idea that I had at the time. And um, I went into the city of Amsterdam and I just, I had no idea where I was going. I decided to let my body guide me. And I've done this in instances before, uh, which is actually, might be a fun story for another time. But I just decided I have no agenda. My body knows. That's just what I thought and felt. I found myself going to the Eilandsgracht, which is uh, like, it's kind of smack dab in the middle of the center. And all of a sudden, I see a store called Soul Sister. And I thought, ooh, I love that name. And my energy just started to bubble. So I went inside. The owner, Miranda, she was uh, standing behind the counter. I went inside with my happy, cheery me, and I told her about my Fralipolipis and how I had recently started. And um, I'm not even sure. I Actually, I do think I had uh, samples with me. And so <laughs> this is actually really funny, and I forgot about it until now. <laughs> okay, so I had some samples with me and I gave Miranda a sample and she tried it on and it was like I almost uh, died on the spot because what happened was a piece of the lip balm broke and it got stuck on her lip and it, it was, yeah, it was pretty embarrassing and super funny now in hindsight because funny and perfect because what happened from that experience was she said I love your story I love the idea behind it I love how it looks but you have to change the formula because you cannot have this happen and that's how Fralipolip actually the formula of Fralipolipi became one of the best, like seriously, I know I'm blowing my own horn, I'm preaching to the church, oh no, you're not my church yet, so okay, I'm blowing my own horn, and I've changed the formula as such that it is seriously the best lip balm in the whole world, 
Maybe there are more that are, are sharing the number one spot with me. And this is one of the best. Hands down. Okay, I have to go. I trust that you love this story. And um, I'll see you uh, in the next. Because there will be many more connecting the dots backwards. Ciao.